Sleep is a very important component of our lives and so important that if we don't get the proper sleep cycle, we'll be unable to function properly during the course of the day. Some of the things that will rob us of our sleep is caffeine or stimulants taken before bedtime, not having the right body weight, so if you're overweight, you're going to have a poor sleep pattern, improper sleeping or breathing patterns, sleep apnea, uh, overeating before you go to sleep so your body is uncomfortable, and you really need sleep because during your sleep, that's when the large amounts of growth hormone are released and the rejuvenation and the resting of the brain and the mind and the full systems get a chance to detox and rejuvenate for the next day's activities. When you sleep deprived, you're also your memory gets weaker, your stress levels go up, your acetylcholine and your catecholamines will spike and you're just going to feel in a, in a hormonally and metabolically disarray. Some people think that alcohol will help them sleep, but actually alcohol is a depressant. And sometimes people drink too much, and now they will have to urinate during the course of the night, they'll have bladder issues, they will have disruptive sleep or maybe nightmares. So alcohol is really not a good thing for sleep. It will actually disrupt the normal sleep pattern. And some people get in the habit of taking a strong series of drinks before bedtime and have a very disruptive sleep pattern, and worse, when they get up in the morning, they don't feel good physically. They feel weaker, maybe depressed, laden, heavy, overfed, and their sleep pattern was not a clean one in good deep REM sleep. There are a lot of different medications that are used as sleepers. Unfortunately, some of these sleeper medications can be quite addictive or can cause nightmares, hallucinations, and when you mix certain sleepers with alcohol, you have a very da dangerous proposition because some patients and some people taking these medications will actually go into a semi-psychotic episode when they mix high doses of alcohol and these sleeper medications. There are a lot of natural things like calamine tea, melatonin, uh, foods that have L-tryptophan in them, uh, lavender, uh, making sure the room is cooler and that you cover your eyes and you have things that will decrease the stimulation in terms of sound and smell and sight. And so these are some of the little hints, maybe even a fan at your bed with white noise as well as a cool breeze will also help you sleep. Einstein said that he needed 10 hours of sleep per night. Now, not all of us need 10 hours. Some people can get by in six or eight. But sleep is really important because this is the time you rejuvenate and reanimate and rest the body's metabolic functions as well as your brain. You have to allow your brain to rest. And some people who have been put through extreme conditions or even torture conditions where they prevent somebody from sleeping can move someone into a psychotic state of mind. So sleep is really important for a healthy and happy lifestyle and sleep deprivation can cause additional stress, disruptions in our lifestyle and surely a loss of function.